So to break down what I'm going to do today, I'm going to give him a ball fade and he has really dry flaky skin. So I'm going to give him a steam treatment and it's going to treat this dry skin. We're going to begin this haircut out by combing the hair into its natural growth pattern. And here we're creating our initial ball guideline. And if you notice, you'll see the dry patches that I was talking about just a second ago. Now, nine times out of 10, he has a very mild case of dermatitis, but of course he would need to go to a dermatologist just to be sure. So we're gonna cut the top down with the number two and the lever is gonna be fully closed. Notice how I'm staying away from his corners. A lot of times when you have people that are thinning or just have light spots in certain areas, you wanna stay away from those areas. And of course you wanna be careful in the crown area, cut the hair with the natural growth pattern. And a good tip is to always comb the swirl before you start to cut. So I use this angle just because I wanted you guys to see the angle that I'm fading from. And you can see how the clipper is flush against the side of his head, the side of his head. So here we have the lever fully closed and we're going to begin the blending process. I just want you guys to see how easy this method is. And if you follow it, you will get the same results, 100% guaranteed. And notice how I'm holding his ear down, just, just in case the, I'm doing this to prevent the clipper from nicking his ear. And as you can see, that bottom, that bottom bald line is basically blended out by now. And if you notice when I blend, I always tilt the clipper back and forth different angles. And that way I just make sure that I'm getting a nice even blend. So here I have on the one guard with the lever fully open and I'm making another guideline about an inch high. Okay, so here we fully close the lever. Go up about halfway. So when you're fading, guys, you want to make sure that you stay within your guidelines. This is how you keep from fade, from, ra from raising a fade. So now we have the one guard with the lever halfway open. So this is going in between the one open and the one closed. Now here's the half guard, and this is where you will really see the blend come together. And the lever is halfway open. You can just see that line going away right now. That's why I love fading. You can just see the, the transformation as you're doing it. Now I'm gonna close the lever. I know you guys can see it. <laughs> like I said, if you follow these steps consistently, you will get consistent results. So now I'm gonna take the one guard and right here the lever is fully closed. So we're just cutting down some of that bulk at the ridge with the one and a half. Okay, now the lever is fully open and notice how I have the angle, notice the angle of the clipper. So I'm just smoothing down that Parada ridge and I just want it to be really smooth. I want everything to flow. So you just see, you just see me attacking that weight. Alrighty, and then we're gonna repeat the same exact steps on this side. I just wanted to show you guys a different angle just so you can see how I hold the clipper against the head. So hopefully that was helpful. If that angle was helpful, comment below and I'll continue to use that angle in different videos. And notice how I'm using my thumb to stretch the skin. That's a very helpful tip in my opinion. 
Stretching the skin, it definitely helped me notice a difference in my blends. Now we have on the one guard, lever fully open. The same thing that we did on the other side. And as always, I always recommend that you get someone that will let you demonstrate this haircut, that will let you perform this haircut on them, pull up this video and go through it step by step. As I say all the time on this channel, experience is the best teacher. So the only way you will learn how to cut this hairstyle is to perform it over and over and over again. So get you a cousin or a little brother or one of your buddies, just anybody that will let you do this haircut. Pull up the video and go step by step. Okay, so here we have on the half guard and the lever is halfway open. And as I said, this is the guard that really helps the fade just blend into itself. It just makes everything, it just makes it blurry. Then here we're taking the one and a half guard. And if this, this video is helpful, comment below. That's really the main re one of the main reasons that this channel was created was to give you guys value. I know how, how good it feels when I can instill confidence in somebody else when I cut their hair. So I just want you guys to be able to give that same confidence to someone else. To me, it's no better feeling than watching someone walk in. You know, they may not be in the best mood, but when they look in that mirror after they get their hair cut and you see that smile go across their face, that's one of the best feelings to know that you can empower people. That's why I feel like barbering is such an amazing field, just because you have the power to empower others. And then here we're just putting on the finishing touches getting out the dark spots. You want the fade to look as blurry as possible. Okay, so now we're gonna proceed onto the lineup. Like I say, we wanna keep everything as natural as possible. So find that balance between sharp and natural. You want to take out just enough to where you can get it crispy, but you don't want to take out too much to where it looks like a pushback. See, I'm just trying to take off as least hair as possible. And when doing a lineup, I always recommend constantly combing the hair out just to make sure you get any fly hairs that may come over the line when they brush or style their hair. Okay, so basically this is like a wet cape, just a small version. And notice how I put the towel in between the cape and his neck, just so any steam that may come down off his neck, it won't get onto his, uh, onto his shirt. So this is just a eucalyptus soap that I'm using just to cleanse the skin and remove any dirt or impurities. And the steam opens up his pores and the, it allows the soap to get any dirt or gunk out of his pores. 
And usually what causes uh, this dermatitis or this scalp buildup is the body just produces too many skin cells. And that's usually what causes this. So now we have the skin clean. I'm gonna use some coconut oil. That's all this is. This is just coconut oil. It's solid at room temperature, but I just take it, rub it in my hands and apply it to the skin to put moisture back into the skin. I think this turned out pretty good. well, guys. Let me know what you think. Subscribe if you've gotten value out of this video. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you on the next video.